Hello, my name is Toria and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have another figure unboxing that I want to share with you. I'm so excited to unbox this figure because this is one of mine. Um, if you are new to my videos or if you haven't noticed in previous videos, um, it's actually me and my husband that collect figures together. So sometimes I unbox his figures and I might seem a little bit clueless or maybe not quite as excited as I am in other sort of um, figure unboxing. But today I am really excited because I finally have my hands on Haru from Free. So I managed to get him secondhand on Mandareki. Um, I said in my previous video where I unboxed uh, Mokuto. Um, I was a bit late to the party with Free, so I've missed some of the figures and I'm really gutted about it. So I got Mokuto. So if you want to see me unbox uh, Mokuto, then I'll put a link in the description. Um, and I've now got Haru and I'm still looking for Rin and Sosuke and they and Nagisa as well. But I certainly have another Haru to add to my collection. So as I said, I got him from Mandareki. He was, um, he wasn't a bad price. I think he was about 8,000 yen. Um, and he actually came and I didn't get any custom charges. So yay for that. So he's ended up being a bit of a bargain, which I'm really excited about. Um, he is unopened. There was, apparently there's box damage, which I still can't figure out where the box damage is. The only thing I can think is where it's kind of older, there is some lifting on the top of the box where the tape is on it. But other than that, I, I cannot see any box damage on this at all. The box is absolutely gorgeous, much like uh, Mokoto's one. This is the um, 1 8 scale by Hobby Stock Altair. We have Haru on the back looking absolutely gorgeous and just the sort of decoration, the same as the Mokoto box really, but just in his branding. So I'm going to open him now. So I have like mixed feelings about opening him because somebody's obviously kept him in his box <laughs> and kept him pristine. I also have um, mixed feelings about ordering ones that haven't been opened because obviously they haven't been inspected. So if they came and they were faulty, you'll never know because nobody's ever opened it. And you know, or if it's degraded over time or there's any damage, you won't know because they don't do an inspection of the figure. So although it's nice to get a brand new figure that hasn't been opened, it still makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm sure he'll be absolutely fine. So we have the instructions on the bottom and it's the same as Mokoto, you just take his head off and put his goggles on. Okay, I don't think I needed to worry, he looks perfect. Oh, he's so gorgeous. His jacket is absolutely stunning. I love the way they've done the jacket. So it looks like they're um, sort of the wind is blowing behind them. So Hardy's head just pops off and we can put his goggles on. And there he is. I love him. The detail on him is beautiful. There's so much movement in his jacket. It's perfectly painted. I did actually notice after I unboxed Mokoto that he did have a tiny defect on his like abs. There's just like a, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's a, uh, well, I'll, I'll put a little visual here, but it's kind of like a little, almost like a little plastic mole. <laughs> like, um, it doesn't bother me, but, Haru has absolutely no defect from what I can see. He is perfect. Really nice. And then, like Makoto, he has the base with his name on it and it's done in his colours as well. So I put him on the base. And there we go. I'm very sorry whoever kept him all these years in his box, but I have now freed him. <laughs> and he can uh, he can go and live with Makoto. But yeah. Gosh, he's gorgeous. I really like him. <laughs> I really want the others in this um, series of figures as well. Like, even his toes are beautifully done. He's got little toenails and everything. And I love the way he's holding his jacket as well. It's such a hardy pose. It really suits him. I love his goggles as well. I love how his goggles are blue to match his colouring and uh, Mokoto's goggles are green. 
I didn't notice that before, but yeah, I really like that they match the colours. And I love that he's got his um, swimming short trunks on. They're really gorgeous as well. Like, they look just really nice. And he's got a little tacky bottom. <laughs> but I do, I really love, like, one of my favourite things about these figures is the movements in their jacket. I just think it's really nice. Like, um, I've got a lot of the Haikun Endoroids, and I really like the Captain ones when they have the jackets. Um, if you've got the Haikun Endoroids, you know what I'm talking about, but they have um, jackets that attach on the back, and it, it has a similar sort of feeling to this. It gives them, like, a feeling of grandeur and importance. I love that, sort of, when they're walking out in sports animes to go and compete. Like, I don't know. Oh, I'm just really excited to have him. But, yeah. His is particularly gorgeous. I really like how it's flowing in the wind. And I still can't get over the tiny details on the Myra. You've got like the tiny zipper. Like it looks like a real zip. It's really nice. And his hand sculpts are beautiful as well. And their faces are lovely as well. Like I really, obviously sometimes figures, <laughs> the, the other three figures I'm not so keen on with the water gun and stuff, like their sculpts and faces I, I'm not sure there's something not quite right about them to me but these guys are absolutely perfect like that looks like anime Haru so I'm really really excited to finally get him to go with Makoto okay I'm gonna do some close-ups so you can see how gorgeous he is up close so let's have a look at those <laughs> unboxing of the Haru 1-8 scale hobby stock altar um, figure I he came up for sale actually in August with Rin as well and I didn't get them because as I've said in a previous video we were getting married and I should have been saving money and I really regretted it and then he came up again a few weeks later and I didn't really care so I just bought him <laughs> so, but like I said I didn't get customs fees he was a pretty decent price so I'm really happy with him and he was brand new he has never been opened and honestly he's gorgeous he's th these two are so nice together and I'm really happy that I got him and now I just need to really get Rin and Sosuke and I'll be very happy but yeah if you like this video then please do give me a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more unboxing videos in the future, then please do subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!